It appears Dylan Dennis isn't allowing Logan Paul's fiancé any rest because he is still relentless with all his posts on Twitter and fans are loving it. For those that may not know, Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis are fighting on the prime card October 14th as a double main event, wherein the other bout you have KSI versus Tommy Fury. So it's safe to say it will be a blockbuster event. And with an event of this magnitude, promotion is needed and regardless of his tactics, Dylan has got the entire internet talking. We'll be checking out all the key details in today's video. So make sure to stick around till the end for the full scoop. Dylan Dennis recently discussed his continuous campaign to harass Logan Paul in the cruelest way conceivable and gave his justifications for doing so. Dennis has been persistently attempting to incite the maverick by publishing old images of his fiancée Nina Agdal with her previous love interest over the past few weeks. Before their bout, Dylan Dennis has evidently increased the volume of his trash talk. Although participating in the promotional dissing is normal among the combat sports professionals, the Bellator Welterweight's decision to engage family is incredibly unusual, but it appears that he has a motivation for doing so. In a recent episode of the Full Send podcast, Dylan Dennis reminded listeners of how Logan Paul's younger brother, Jake Paul, had previously made fun of his girlfriend at the time and said, I'm all about the trans and LGBTQ+, and everything. So I was like, this is awesome. He has a fiancé that's trans, I thought she was. Then I looked it up and it was a girl. Jake did this to me. When me and him were going to fight, he was going at my girl. He was saying he fucked her. It's a double-edged sword. This guy really doesn't care. He's just a complete troll. But it's so funny to see go down because Logan Paul is now allegedly sending him cease and desist letters. And instead of aiming his response at Dylan, he's going for Conor McGregor, which we'll check out shortly. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way you'll never miss out any future celebrity videos similar to these. While on the Full Send podcast, Dylan also spoke about the backlash he's been receiving from days on and Logan Paul's side due to his post. One way to look at that, right, is like, you have a lot of ammo on him right now. Just got like, yeah, but, but like, he, he doesn't really have, what's he really going to say to you, bro? Dude, I'll, it's like, there's Joe, a lot you can say about me, come on. I have a lot you're of not shit out there. To the fight? It's easy to make fun of me. But then why do you think he doesn't respond but, or Because it's back? hard to hit you. Because there's only, sh it's like, there's it's, a lot kind, out it's kind of like me. the Donald Trump thing where they just like, nothing really sticks. I guess so, yeah. Like, what are they going to say to you? Like, because I don't you're not a real fighter, you don't fight, you're Okay, then why are you trying to fight me? Because I promote... So then That's he can say really promotion, say. but now he's complaining about promotion. Yeah. He has a good point, especially with Misfit. They have stated previously that fighters aren't promoting enough when it comes to events. And at the end of the day, they're creators, not boxers. Now suddenly, Dylan Danis is going too far with his promotion. It is getting fans talking, so you should just let it happen. It's what will make the spectacle bigger and result in everyone getting paid more. Just imagine the first press conference with Dylan Danis and Logan Paul. The amount of security that will be needed will be crazy. And if Logan's fiancé turns up, it would be hilarious. As you mentioned at the start of the video, KSI is fighting as the double main event against Tommy Fury. And of course, Dylan was scheduled to fight KSI months back but pulled out. While on the Full Send podcast, he explained his reasoning for doing so. But what happened with the KSI fight then? Why why didn't that work out? There was a lot of things that I, I don't want to disclose, but there was a hybrid hydration clause that was ridiculous. But did you agree to that? No. Well... My manager actually admitted to not seeing it in the contract, but like it, it was that there was a lot of things with not yeah, well, being you gotta a professional. Fire, you got to fire that manager. Yeah, for no, sure. right. I, I wanted it to be a professional fight because it was going to be in England. He picks the judges. He picks the ref. Everything. It was just everything was just like so stupid. I didn't really care about KSI. I wanted Logan from the beginning and Logan got hurt against Roman Reigns. That was our fight. And then it kind of just threw me into the KSI thing. And then I was going through a lot of stuff with my dad passing and. Just, just a bunch of shit, and then they were putting so many stipulations on me, and it's just like because you never really talked about that pub publicly as yeah, to why you backed yeah. out, right? There's a bunch, there's a bunch of reasons, but it's just I don't really give a shit. About Which, if anything, it's good that fight didn't happen because the promotion of this Dylan versus Logan Paul fight has been ten times better. Considering the amount of heat Logan and his fiance have been receiving daily from Dylan, you would think that he would have some great comeback or some sort of retaliation. His only post directed at Dylan so far was a fake picture of him kissing Conor McGregor. Although he did post a video directed to Conor McGregor to put up one million dollars if he's so confident in Dylan Danis winning. You're so confident in your boy. I got a bet for you. I bet Dylan, but he's a broke bitch. I got a million million dollars that says I beat your boy on October 14th. Come on, bro. Come on. I know you caked up. See how confident you are. Imagine all the coke you can buy, you fucking drug addict. Two dummies, one night, October 14th. I'm fucking you both up. Which, to be fair, is a good angle to play. 
because he's acting as if Dylan has nothing and Connor is the top dog, which is true in this situation. It'll be interesting to see if Connor bites on that bet at all. As originally in an interview, Connor stated, Dylan will win for sure. They are already backtracking right now. They awoke an animal. I know Dylan. I have trained with him many times. I've helped him and I'm guiding him. I'm going to train him for this and I'm going to guarantee a win. To say you'll guarantee a win, he's got to agree to $1 million. Dylan also saw Logan Paul said this and roasted him on Twitter for being a scammer. Bro has the money to bet $1 million but can't pay off the people he scammed. That's crazy. Which is definitely one of the main reasons we are loving the post Dylan has been putting out these past few days. Although, to be fair, Dylan Dennis has also scammed numerous times in the past when it comes to crypto, so his stance isn't as strong in that department. Michael Chandler, a lightweight contender in the UFC, is not a fan of Dylan Dennis vs Logan Paul High. In recent comments on the Dennis Paul trolling battle, the former Bellator lightweight champion questioned the necessity of such theatrics in combat sports. Dennis was criticized by Michael Chandler for his social media post in a recent video that he posted on his YouTube channel. Michael Chandler said, Logan Paul just got booked to fight Dylan Dennis in a boxing match. This ticks me off for a couple of different reasons. Logan, to fight this guy, who I don't even want to name anymore because I feel like he's been a troll and we keep giving him attention. We keep encouraging him with likes and tweets and headlines and fights like this. Why are we doing this? Why do we keep doing this? Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' thoughts on Dylan Dennis' recent antics? Has he gone too far with all the posts mainly directed at Logan Paul fiancé or not? And who do you have winning the fight come October 14th? Comment below. Of course, Dylan Dennis ended up seeing Michael Chandler's stance on the fight and he wasn't exactly happy to say the least. Shut the f*** up, add Michael Chandler MMA. Keep begging on your knees like a good little girl for a red panty night and if you do happen to get blessed, Connor is gonna break your jaw into two. Regardless if Dylan Danis even wins the fight against Logan Paul, he has destroyed him and exposed his fiancé to the entire internet for all the past relationships and there's a lot of them. Conor McGregor has been finding the build-up hilarious as yesterday, Dylan posted an old picture of Logan Paul in a wedding dress with the caption, Logan right now fighting for his marriage. And McGregor simply replied with a laughing emoji as of course when it comes to trolling his opponents, Conor usually has all the good one-liners and is willing to cross the line regardless of who is fighting. It turns out that Paul became so enraged by Dylan Dennis cutting barbs about his girlfriend Nina Agdell's past relationships that that his team called him and threatened him to cancel the fight unless he stopped the trolling. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to Loaf to you for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.